Hey, 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 good morning. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, pajama grandma in my pajamas, cozy warm pajamas, because I've got wet hair. For some reason, I'm very chilly this morning, so I'm wrapped up in my cozy blanket and I'm in my cozy pajamas. And talking about my new adventure, what I'm up to now. Do you ever have those mornings where you wake up and you just have this weird feeling and stuff's just bugging you, but you don't know what it is? I woke up in one of those moods today. I'm going to get comfy. I'm not sure why. But I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, the more I'm thinking about it, the weirder my mood gets. Does that ever happen to you? Where you start out with a thought, and that thought leads to another thought, and then all of a sudden, it's spiraling downward in the direction you don't want it to go. And so I'm thinking that as I'm washing my hair and getting uh, some stuff organized and making my coffee this morning. I'm like, no, I'm not going to feel this way today. I have exciting stuff to do. So I, I just am shaking it off. And so what do you do? What do you do to shake things off? Because we all get in those moods. Life is amazing, incredible, horrible, magnificent, awful, all in the same day sometimes. I've had a couple of days like that where you've had super duper high highs and really, really bad lows because a really great thing will happen then a really bad thing will happen. It seems like the universe is always trying to balance us off and make things at an even keel or a level of our expectation. And maybe that's the trick. It's the level of our expectation that causes us to have all these different things happening in our lives. So I was thinking about that and working on that and, and fretting a little bit. And I'm not sure what I was really even fretting over because it wasn't important. <laughs> and then I started to think about, okay, what are the exciting things I, I'm going to do today? And as soon as I started thinking of the exciting things I'm going to do today, guess what? I started thinking of more and more and more of those things and more things to be happy and excited about. And that got me out of my little bit of a the funk I woke up with because... We can decide how our day is going to go. And actually, we do decide how our day is going to go, whether we know it or not. If we let little events and little thoughts and little feelings that are negative get to us and we keep thinking about them, it can ruin our whole day. I know you've had a day like that. I've had lots of days like that where I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I didn't know why exactly. But then the next thing that would happen I would focus on if it was something negative, my day would go in a negative direction. If it was something positive, my day would go in a positive direction. So we don't always realize that it's happening until it's too late and we've set up the momentum for the entire day. But as soon as we do notice something's going in a direction we don't want it to, we have the ability to stop it, change our state, change what we're thinking about, and change the direction of our day. And if we change the direction of our days, to be more and more positive, it changes the direction and the momentum of our lives. So today I am working on mapping out a couple of different pieces of my chronic pain program. Um, I've got the whole thing laid out, but there's little detailed pieces that I just don't love. And if I just don't love them and I just don't think they're right, I change them as I go along. And that's how we have to approach everything in life. Life is continuous improvement. Our lives have to be ever changing and continuously improving because if they're not improving, they're declining. There is no standing still in our lives. There is no standing still these days. Um, even when I was in the hospital and sick with, you know, following a, a really big heart event, there was no standing still. Either I was getting better or I was declining. There was no just maintaining. And I think we forget sometimes that we get to control that, that we're in charge of which direction our life is going. So I'm thinking about those things today, working on that. I'm rolling out a coaching program that's going along with the book and course Expert Secrets because we're doing a promo this weekend. This weekend only I'm doing a really special thing and I'm excited about it. I'm sure I'll do other promotions and other things in the future, but they'll never be like this. This one's a one-time only special offer to, to give away my coaching services and my uh, coaching plan for free. And we're going to go along with this book and with the course that I took, and uh, another course, and another course, and another course, because I'm always taking courses, and I learn a ton, and I love teaching what I learn to people. I was really excited to uh, hear one of my students do his first webinar, his first web class last night, and it was awesome. So <coughs> if I focus on what I want and the things that I'm excited about in my life, I have an awesome day. 
And I like having awesome days a lot more than I like having pain days or frustrating days or downer days because, you know, sometimes I still have a Debbie Downer day. I just try to get myself out of it sooner and have it not be a whole day. Maybe I have a Debbie Downer hour or a Debbie Downer 10 minutes, but I try not to have a whole Debbie Downer day unless something really hard is going on. And even then, I try not to have a Debbie Downer day anymore. I try to just have an awesome positive day and look at situations in terms of what is possible, not what isn't possible, because there's always a solution. No matter what problem you have in the universe, there's a solution for it, because we wouldn't have a problem if there wasn't a solution. And part of our job here is to solve those problems, untangle those situations, and make them what we want them to be. So that's all I've got to say today. I hope you go out and make it an awesome, terrific, fantastic, amazing, marvelous day because that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to go dry my hair as a first step. And I will see you tomorrow with another episode of my new adventure, What I'm Up To Now. And I hope you're up to something fun too. Bye. Pajama Grandma out.